Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my May update to the Paranormal Pantivity Project pan. This is a Pantastic Ladies collab that was created by Andrea. This project started on September 24th of last year, and it goes to September 24th of this year because that is National Ghost Hunting Day. For this project, Andrea came up with 31 prompts that are all about spooks, specters, and spirits. So this one is a lot of fun. At the beginning of the project, I rolled in all 31 products at the same time. And for the last update, I had finished 15 of the 31, and I do have three more goals met for this update. So I'm just gonna be showing you the products that I've worked on over the past month. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it. The first one was Doppelganger, a product you have a double or a backup of. I have so many doubles of this. And this is my Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm in the scent Lemon Mint. As of the last update, I had used this nine times. And over the past month, I've used it 14 more, and this is my empty. So 23 uses on this one, and it is completely finished. I do have more of these. This is my favorite makeup cleansing balm. I love the scent of it. The ones that they make that are scented have a very slight scent to them. They are not overpowering at all. I will always repurchase this one. Next is White Lady, a product that's white or with white packaging. For that, I rolled in my NYX Pore Filler Primer. As of the last update, I was down to here. I'd used it 52 times. I did cut it open. I used it four more times and this one is completely empty. This product reminds me a lot of the Benefit Professional, the original one, however, I like this one more. I did go through this pretty quickly. It has 0.4 fluid ounces or 12 mils, and like I said, I got 56 uses out of it. Once it got to the bottom and I had to cut it open, it seemed to dry up really quick, and then that's when it would start to pill. So don't cut this open if you have this until you are absolutely positive you can't get anything else out of here. So I did enjoy this product, I don't know that I'd purchase another one. It does seem a little bit finicky. The next prompt I was working on was Dybbuk, a product still in its box. For that, I rolled in the Dolce & Gabbana Dolce Garden Perfume. I did decant this into a little sprayer. I do prefer to have sprayers when it comes to my perfume. As of the last update, I had used it 17 times to get down to here. I've used it 10 more times and now I am down to here. It was only up to here when it started. So I'm at 27 uses and I have the littlest bit left to go. It's almost at the bottom of the label. So I'm thinking five, maybe five uses left to go on this one. It is a really nice light florally scent and I am enjoying this. Next is a product that I finally started working on. This was for Demon, a product that you were tempted into buying. For me, that is the AOA Studio Green Tea and Vitamin E Cleansing Balm. I've heard so many people talk about how it is a dupe for the Pharmacy Green Clean. So I did get one of these and I started working on it over the past month and I have used it four times. You can see just a little bit of progress in here. I think I'd used it once or twice before I put it into this project. Now I have used this one for a couple of years, so switching over to a different cleansing balm, I did notice a little bit of a difference. I feel like I have to use just the smallest amount more of this than I do for the Pharmacy Green Clean, and this one doesn't quite break up and melt in your hands as nicely as the Pharmacy Green Clean, but other than that, it is a really good cleansing balm. The price is really inexpensive for this compared to Pharmacy, so I will keep using it. I do see why people really enjoy this cleansing balm. For me, my favorite though is still the pharmacy one. The next prompt is Necromancy, a product you haven't used in a long time. For me, that is my Too Faced Peach Perfect Setting Powder. As of the last update, I had used it 102 times to get down to here. I've used it 17 more and I am all the way down to here. So this is 119 uses from here down to here. I'm at the smaller part of the container so it's going a little bit quicker. And this did have a lot of use before I put it into this project. I use it for a while, put it away in my drawer. And so this was a perfect prompt for me to pull this back out and start using it. It does still have that amazing peach scent. I really like this one. This is the biggest container of loose setting powder I have. It has 35 grams in it. The ones from Maybelline I know are 20. I think the Becca ones that people loved were around 20 as well, but this is 35. So tons of product in here. Next is Urban Legend, a product that is too good to be true. For me, that is my Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Frizz Control Sculpting Gel. I absolutely love this gel. It's my favorite hands down and I've tried many over the years. 
As of the last update, I had used it 50 times to get down to here. I've used it seven more and I am all the way down to here, so not a lot left to go. I remember rolling this into the project thinking there's no way I could finish this in a year. However, I'm making pretty decent progress. This is 9.7 ounces or 286 mils. So tons of product, I don't mind. It is my favorite to use and I will always repurchase that. Next is Orbs, a product that brings light to your face. For that, I rolled in my Ulta Beauty Under Eye Brightener. For that, I set a goal of 31 uses, and over the past month, I have used it 15. Now, I do have weights, but I'm realizing I did not mark it on the outside of the packaging so that I can show you progress. I will roll it all the way up. There's still plenty of product in here that needs to be used up. For now, all I have to go by is the weights. I apologize about that. I will try to remember to mark this after I am done filming. So I have 16 uses to go on this before I can roll it out of the project. And I chose 31 uses because that's how many prompts are in this project. Next is Flying Dutchman, a product that you are doomed to pan what feels like forever. And this is perfect for that prompt. This is my Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette and I had rolled in the shade Cone. As of the last update, I had used the shade 46 times and over the past month, I've used it an additional 14 times. And this is what it's looking like. My goal is to hit pan and you can see that there is the smallest dip in this one. I'm at 60 uses on this and I have no idea how long it's gonna take me to hit pan. So this is perfect for something that I feel like I am doomed to pan forever. This is gonna be in the project for a long time. Next is Afterlife, a product past its expiration date. It is another eyeshadow from this Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. I was working on the shade Virgin. As of the last update, I had used this 29 times for this prompt. And over the past month, I've used it an additional 17 and this is what it's looking like. So I have huge pan on this one. I have 46 total for this prompt, but it had 45 previous uses on that. So I believe that's 91 uses for this eyeshadow. I do use this to set my eyeshadow base. So that's why it's going a lot quicker. It is around the edges. And so I am gonna have to repress this back to the middle of the pan for the next month so that I can keep using this. And we'll see how long it takes me to use use up. The reason I chose this for something past its expiration is because this is a very powdery eyeshadow. Compared to Cone, this one barely moves at all and this one has a ton of kick up in it. I think it's past its expiration, which is why it's not as tightly pressed. It still works great. It doesn't irritate my eyes or anything like that. So we'll see how long it takes me to completely finish it. Next is Domovic. This is a household spirit in Russian folklore, an item that has followed you from house to house. I've lived here for 18 years and I don't think I have anything from before I moved into this house. So I just chose a product that is so old I don't remember when I bought it. And this is my Garnier Fruit Tea Style Full Control Anti-Humidity Hairspray. As of the last update, I had used it 18 times to get down to here. I've used it three more and I've made the littlest jump right here. So it was up to this turquoise line when I rolled it into the project. So from here to here is 21 uses. I don't like hairspray, I don't need hairspray, so I am trying to work my way through this before the end of this project. When I do use it, I use a lot of it because <laughs> I am trying to get through it. As you can see, it was another project pan before this one, so I'm hoping that this will be the last project that this is in and I can finish it up this year. I just need to remember to use it. And then the final prompt I was working on was Spirit, a natured themed product. So for that, I rolled in my native body wash in the scent coconut and vanilla. As of the last update, I had used it 38 times to get down to here. I've used it an additional 18 and this is completely empty now. So I got 56 uses out of this. Coconut and vanilla is my favorite scent from Native. I love that deodorant, this body wash smelled just as nice as that. So I'm happy I used this up and this is my last liquid body wash. So now I can start moving over to bar soaps and I'm really excited about that so I don't have the plastic waste. So for this last month, I have finished three products. I finished off this NYX Pore Filler, I finished the Pharmacy Green Clean, and then this body wash right here. So that takes me up to 18 of the 31 prompts finished. For this next update, I do think I can have a couple more goals met. I think this perfume will be empty. I should probably show you a container it's in. This little bit of perfume right here, that will be gone. I can have my 16 uses on this under eye brightener. 
and maybe I can have this hair gel done. There's not that much in here, but then again, I say that, and then there's always a lot more than it seems, and because I love this so much, I will cut it open to get every bit out of there. Hopefully I'll have two, maybe three empties for the next update. That is everything that I have for you before you go. If you haven't, I hope that you'll please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you.